And we'll take our ball over there because it is a really good tool for the core. And balance is related to the core as also. So let's roll down and just see how the spine is. Feel when you're rolling down one vertebrae at a time. We're going to bring our knees, knees to our chest and just start there with a few deep breaths, kind of rocking back and forth or making some circles. And right away, it starts to kind of lengthen and go in the opposite direction. And then let's lift our legs up. So we're gonna straighten the legs out and keep the hips down. So pressing the hips down, keeping the legs up and then start to bend one leg and then straighten it and then the other. Keeping awareness in the hips. So we're, I'm putting my thumbs on that juncture of the hip and the leg so it helps to hold the hips down so we really know what we're doing so we're not favoring one side. And then keep your fingers like that and start to walk the legs down halfway. So we're just bending and straightening, but feel the lengthening out of the legs. And take the legs straight out and in one at a time. Notice the belly is starting to work a little bit more, lower belly. And then start to walk the legs back up, still pressing the hips down. and then legs both straight up and we're going to lift our chest up hold the back of the legs and lift the upper back up take another breath and lengthen the upper spine and then we're going to bend the legs bring the feet down but arms over the head and let's take a few breaths here pressing the feet down rolling the shoulders down and lengthening so it's kind of like we're reaching our arms and then rolling the shoulders down. And then let's bring the knees up, arms down, and we're going to do a few of these, focusing on lengthening. And we're almost touching the feet as we come down. And let's add, let's put the ball between our legs as we do this. It's going to make it a little bit, a little bit more intense because we're squeezing the ball in. Notice how the shoulder blades are supporting the body. Let's do a couple more. Squeezing the ball in, so we're working the hips. And we're going to add on. So we're bringing the legs straight up, arms down, and then bending the legs and straightening the legs out in and then keep going, legs up. It's a little bit like talking and chewing gum. So whatever you want to do with the arms. <laughs> Just the legs are out when the arms are over the head. Keep squeezing the ball. And let's do three more. This is our last one. And we're going to put our head down, legs stay up, take a deep breath, feel the hips pressing down. And then we're going to bend the knees. And let's take the feet slowly down and just up to 90 degrees. So we're going to do just the lower body. Feet almost touch and bring them back up. And we're doing this slowly. Keep squeezing the ball. Let's do five more. Yeah. 
And we're going to do one more time. And let's put the feet back down on the mat. And now we're going to really engage the lower belly. So we're going to bring the navel to the spine, pelvic tilt as you squeeze the ball in. And just start there, pelvic floor. And then slowly release. Notice the muscles that are being used now in the pelvic floor. Good for the bladder. Strengthening all those ligaments around there. And feel the evenness as you're doing this. And one more. And the next time, we're going to roll the hips up and the arms come up as we squeeze the ball. And take your time. So we're rolling down one vertebrae at a time and doing that same pelvic tilt, squeezing the ball. We're going to do a few more of these. And let's do one more. And then this time we're going to hold ourselves up and press the feet down, squeeze the ball, lengthen the arms. Let's take a few slow and deep breaths. And then we're going to bring the hips down, rolling them down, arms in a goalpost position. And here we're just going to roll the shoulders down and feel the upper back lengthening. Release the tongue and jaw. We're going to turn our head to the right and take a deep breath. Turn our head to the left. Same thing, keeping the right shoulder and shoulder blade down. Coming back to the center. And let's bring our arms out in a T, roll the shoulders down, lift the knees up. We're going to use the obliques now, knees over to the right slowly as you turn your head to the left. They almost touch. And then over to the other side. So if this hurts in any way, don't go as far. Keep the navel to the spine as you go side to side. And let's do one more to each side. Notice how the hips are pressing down. And when you're ready, take your knees over to the right, all the way down. We're going to do a, a deeper spinal twist. And take the left arm, just stays out to the left right hand on our left thigh, the outside of the left leg, so we can Use that as a lever to lengthen and breathe. And just let yourself relax so it's a little bit more gentle. So you feel the back muscles opening up. And one more breath. And now we're going to switch sides. So squeezing everything together as you lift up, bringing the knees over to the left, down to the floor, and then left hand on our right leg. Rolling the right shoulder down and turning your head to the right, and just let yourself breathe here. And as your body opens up, keep rolling that shoulder down and lengthening. And then let's come back to the center. And we're going to take 
our, let's take the ball out. We're going to put our feet down and lift the hips. And we'll put the ball underneath us now and feel the difference. Take a few breaths. Just notice how gravity is helping us here. The hips are releasing, low back lengthening. And then we're going to take our knees up 90 degrees and let's try that leg straight out and then the other one in and out. And feel the difference with this a little bit more instability. And start to walk the legs up. And let's get them all the way up to the top and let's point and flex the feet. Stretching the feet, pressing the hips down to the ball. And then we're going to make circles with the feet. And then go in the opposite direction, kind of wake up the feet, wiggle the toes and then flexing the feet, opening and closing. So we're going to add on to this with the straight legs. We're going to reach the arms up over the chest, palms together. Just so we feel a little bit more instability, feel the legs and the hips working. You can feel when one side gets a little stronger than the other. And then the next time we're going to bring the legs back to the center and bend the legs 90 degrees and bend the arms in goal post position. So arms are down on the floor and let's bring the knees open and then switch the arms so they're in opposition. Or maybe not. In my case, I must not be able to do that today. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. And let's do a few more. Noticing how the shoulder blades are pressing down. They're really stabilizing us. And last three. And two. And last one. And then arms back in goal post. Let's tap each foot down with the toes. Notice that lower belly. We're really working with the legs, aware of how the navel comes to the spine. So squeezing it in there. And then flexing the feet, tapping the heels down. And then last one. And let's put our feet down and we're going to release here and breathe. So notice the difference. Arms are still in goal post. Let's take the head, roll it again over to the right and take another breath. And then over to the left, just checking in with the neck and upper back. And then head back to the center, reaching the arms out, angel arms. And we're going to bring the arms down by our sides. And let's walk our feet together now, squeezing the navel to the spine. So everything's active in the lower body, lifting up off the ball and lowering just a little bit. Big pelvic tilt. We're bringing everything in toward our center. And two more. Really good. Now let's lengthen our legs straight down, arms up over our head. And we're going to flex the feet, pelvic tilt, and feel the hip flexors opening. And take another couple of breaths, balancing on our ball. Really good. So we'll bring our arms down by our sides, feet back where they were. 
We're going to cross the right foot over the left thigh. And we're going to take that knee, right knee toward the midline, and then back up. So it doesn't have to be much. We're stabilizing through the hips, kind of isolating. Piriformis. And let's do a few more here. And last one. Now we're going to do the stretch, lifting the legs up and feeling that deeper stretch through the hip and the glutes. Like pigeon on our back. And a couple more slow breaths, feel it opening. And then let's put the left foot down and uncross. We're going to switch the left foot over the right thigh and do the same thing. So the ankle presses into the right thigh, bringing the left knee toward the midline just a couple inches and then back out. We're targeting that muscle in there. And a few more. And then last one. Now we're going to lift that leg up and bring it toward the chest and take a few breaths. Sometimes some of our glutes get fired up and then others are overworked. That's been my case. So I know about this thing. <laughs> Because of my hip issue. So you learn a lot from, from your own injuries, that's for sure. So now one more breath and bring that right foot down. We're going to uncross and let's lift our hips up and move the ball out of the way and take a few breaths. Let's walk the shoulder blades together and lift the chest even higher really activating as we press the feet down, lifting the hips. And then we're going to roll down and let's roll over to the side and we're going to sit up and just sit cross-legged for a second and feel the lengthening of the spine. So we're going to flip our palms up roll the shoulders down and just feel here. Let's turn our head to the right. Notice the core while you're doing this. And then the head's turning over to the left. Back to the center, right hand down. Let's reach the left arm over, big side stretch. As you keep the left hip down, press that down. And then we're going to the other side. Left hand down, right arm over. Pressing the right hip down. And then let's come to the center and hip hinge, forward fold, pressing the hips down. Now we're gonna walk our arms to the right. And then over to the left. Back to the center. Now sitting up, twisting the upper body to the right as we lengthen, bringing the navel to the spine. Let's go over to the left. And then to the center. Let's come on over to hands and knees and do a few cat cows so we can see how everything moves through our body. The breath, kind of putting it all together. So as we do this, keep the navel coming into the spine. 
So you feel the spine lengthening. Let's do one more. And now we're gonna to come to a neutral spine. Let's curl the toes under. We're gonna come into this downward dog that's a little shorter. So we're gonna come up on our toes, bend the knees. We're gonna feel that upper back opening as you roll your shoulders away from the ears. Now let's come back down to hands and knees and into child's pose. And keep reaching the fingers forward. And then let's come into puppy pose. And a couple more breaths. And down on our belly, we're going to bring our arms over our head. and walk the legs close together, pointing the toes, and then right leg lifts up. Let's do our belly rollouts. So we can feel how the core is working. We're gonna go side to side. And let's come back to our belly and take another breath and lengthen the arms, roll the shoulders down. So here, we're going to start to lift the chest, even though our hands are straight out. Feel that stretch, then take each hand a little closer to your body and lift up and keep going. And just where it's comfortable as you bring your hands closer. Feel the lengthening of the spine. And then we're going to come into Sphinx and put the forearms down. And lengthen, roll the shoulders down. One more breath. Let's come into a half arm plank. And walk the legs, squeeze the legs together. Come back to child's pose. And downward dog. And let's walk to the top of our mat. And we're going to hold our elbows three breaths, bend the knees. And then release the arms. Let's roll up one vertebrae at a time. So everything is firm. Arms reach out and up. Now we're going to clasp our hands over our head. Lean to the right. Take the left leg out to the left. And then left foot down. Let's lean to the left. And take our right leg out to the right. And back to the center, we're going to forward fold, diving down. Step the right leg back to a lunge, and we're going to reach our left arm up. Come back to downward dog. And right leg lifts up, steps forward. And then the left, let's come halfway up, forward fold and inhale all the way up. Hands to heart. Let's twist the upper body to the left and then to the right. Back to the center, inhale up, forward fold, left leg steps back, right arm up, 
spinal twist. We'll come back to down dog. And left leg lifts up and steps forward. And the right halfway up, forward fold, and Utkatasana now. Reaching the arms out, three breaths. Coming all the way up to standing. And then hands to our heart. And then right knee up. Let's do our can-can. Five, four, three, two, and one. And let's come into Dancer. So we're going to hold our right foot, reach the left arm up. And from here, Warrior Three, right leg back. Whoops, Warrior One, I guess. <laughs> Arms up. And reaching forward, right hand down, left arm up. And then both arms up with our palms together. Take a couple of breaths here. And lengthen. Now we're going to clasp our hands behind us. And let's come into Humble Warrior. And feel that forward fold. And release the head, three breaths. Now we're going to come up in our back bend. And reach the arms up, warrior one. And let's step forward and bring our hands to our heart. And root down with the right foot. Let's lift our left knee up and do our can-can. Five, four, three, two, and one. And dancer, holding our left foot, right arm up. And now we're going to come into warrior three, left leg back. Then step the whole leg back, warrior one, and square the hips. Reach the arms forward, left hand down, right arm up. And then both arms up with our palms together, a couple of breaths, and lengthen out of the hips. Now we're going to clasp our hands behind us, coming into Humble Warrior. And three breaths. Now we're going to inhale up and come in our back bend, opening the throat. And then arms reach up for warrior one and take a deep breath. And then we're stepping forward and we're back in Tadasana. And let's come back to Utkatasana. And then twist to the right, cross the left elbow over the right leg. And then over to the other side. And back to the center to Utkatasana, reaching forward, and then a forward fold, and release the head. 
Let's step back to down dog and take three breaths. Now let's come into three-legged dog, lift the right leg up and come into plank and back to dog and then four more, right leg up. And we're going to put our right foot down and take a breath. Left leg lifts up, three-legged dog, into plank, and back to dog, and four more. And then let's put our left foot down and come into a regular plank and do our mountain climbers, bringing one knee down and then the other, and a few more. So now let's bring both knees down, and we're going to slowly lower the chest down and do five push-ups, just a little bit or a lot, keeping the core strong. We've got two more. And let's sit back into child's pose and bring our arms behind us and breathe. And now we're going to sit up on our heels and roll the shoulders down. Twist to the right. And over to the left. And to the center. Let's see if we can lift our hips now. So hands down, keeping our knees down, lifting the hips up, opening up the quads a little bit. Three more breaths. Now lifting the head back up, let's come into table pose. And we're going to take another deep breath. I'm not going to make you do more, no more stuff. So let's put our bottoms down and come into boat pose. So we're going to take the legs out and in 10 times. And one more. Hold those big toes, stretch the legs out and lengthen. It's like our halfway up position. And then legs out and take another couple of breaths here in straddle. Legs back together and then feet down. Let's come into our big V and forward fold. And release the head. And two more breaths. And then as we come up, let's come into a squat at the top of our mat. And then a forward fold, lifting the hips up. Release the head. So from here, we're going to come into a leg lift to warrior three. We're going to lift our right leg up behind us and see if, you know, maybe fingertips are good, maybe palms together, kind of depending on the day. 
and then lengthen the leg back and we're going to come into our warrior one again reaching the arms up and reaching the arms forward and lifting the right leg up for another warrior three And then take our hands down, put the right foot down. We're back in our forward fold. And let's try it on the other leg. Left leg lifts up behind us. And when you're ready, we're coming into that warrior three. Lengthening the left leg back for warrior one. Arms reach forward, and let's come into warrior three again. And then hands down, foot down, we're coming back to our forward fold. Let's inhale up. A little bit more of a back bend, reaching the arms up, hands to our heart, and take a couple of breaths here, rolling the shoulders down. Now let's inhale up, exhale forward fold. We're going to step back to down dog and take another couple of breaths to lengthen. Right leg lifts up, and then step forward to warrior two. And roll the shoulders down. And let's reverse. Left arm down, right arm up. And then forearm comes down and reach the left arm over the ear, lengthening and feeling that stretch. Let's slide the right fingers down. Keep the left arm where it is, if it's comfortable, to roll the chest open. And then we're going to bring the left hand down to the mat. Come into our spinal twist, right arm up. And let's bring our hand down, come into dragon. We're going to put our left leg down, flatten the foot. Three breaths. And then lift that left leg up back to side angle. This time left arm lifts up with the right fingertips down. And then warrior two, three breaths. Let's straighten the right leg and we're gonna just go right on over to the other side. So warrior two with the left foot out. Rolling the shoulders down. And then reverse. To our forearm coming down and reaching that right arm, lengthening, rolling the chest open, coming deeper into the hip. Now we're gonna slide the left fingers down. And then right hand down to the mat, left arm up, spinal twist. And let's come into dragon on this side. We're going to put the whole right leg down, stretching three breaths.
Really good. Let's lift that leg up and come back to our side angle, right arm up. Let's come back to warrior two and three breaths. And we're going to straighten our left leg. Let's hold our hands behind us. Inhale, looking up, stretching and exhale forward fold. And wherever your arms come off of your back, just let your head hang, pressing the feet down, and two more breaths, and we're going to come all the way up, reaching the arms up, hands to our heart, let's come into Goddess. We're going to bring our arms in a goalpost position. And then lean to the right, lean to the left, and then to the center. Let's bring the elbows in and out a few times, feeling that stretch in the upper back. And one more breath. Let's inhale up and come back to down dog. Three breaths. And then forward to our plank. And chaturanga. And we're going to do our five cobras. Now let's hold our hands on our low back behind us, walk the legs closer together, and we're going to inhale and lift up just with the upper body and lower down as we breathe. Four more times. Really good. Let's release the hands. Do one big cobra and then when you're ready, back to child's pose. Three breaths. We're going to sit up again on our heels and take a breath, roll the shoulders down. Put our hands down. We're going to lift our hips again. Stretch the quads. Three breaths. And then come back down and into child's pose. And downward dog. Feel the difference now in your downward dog. And let's walk forward to the top of our mat. And just stay in our forward fold, release the head. And we're going to come all the way up to standing and reach the arms up and hands to our heart. Let's take a couple of breaths in our mountain pose, rolling the shoulders down, feeling the lengthening of the spine.
And then we're going to do eagle crossing our right knee over the left knee, left elbow over the right, and into our forward fold, elbows to thighs. A couple more breaths. And let's come back up to standing and uncross, feet together, arms down by our sides. And then let's try the other side, left knee over the right, right elbow over the left and forward fold. And two more breaths. And let's slowly come on up. And we're going to uncross, feet hip width apart, arms down by our sides, and feel. Let's come into our squat. And take a few breaths. And we're going to roll down all the way on our back. And let's come with our knees to our chest. First of all, just feeling that stretch in the whole spine as you rock back and forth or make some circles just like when we started. And then in the opposite direction. Now we're going to lift the upper body up toward the knees, feel that stretch. And then let's put our feet down, arms down, and take three breaths here. You can close your eyes, just feel the difference. Let's come into our spinal twist, so knees to one side, just comfortably where it's really good for you, and release any residual tension in your body. Feel the inner movement of your body. And let's bring our legs to the other side for the other spinal twist. Just notice and feel and breathe. And now we're going to come back to the center. And let's see about our Satu Bandha. So we're going to roll the hips up, walk the shoulder blades closer together, and take a few breaths here as you press the feet down. Feel the difference in your body in this stretch. And then we're going to slowly bring the hips down and come into our final pose of Shavasana. If you would rather do Vibriya Karani and use your ball underneath you, feel free to listen to your body doing whatever it needs to do. We're going to softly breathe as we allow the breath to come into every cell and molecule of our body. Relaxing the shoulders and the arms. Feeling the head pressing down into the mat. And releasing the facial muscles, the tongue, and the jaw. Feel the throat area relax. The hips and legs and feet to relax. And 
as we breathe in, we're bringing in beautiful prana and energy into every cell and molecule. Wishing ourselves good health and harmony. Peace to our homes and families and communities. And peace to our brothers and sisters everywhere. Let's slowly deepen our breath and start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. We're going to reach our arms over our head and lengthen, taking a deep breath, rolling over to the side. And we're going to press ourselves up and let's come on up and bring our hands to our heart to seal in our practice today together. Taking a deep inhale and sigh. One more time. Namaste. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. Thank you. All right. Have a really have a really good time today, Joni. I hope your upper back is better. That was great. Thank you so much, Marion. Good. And your core cores are happy. My I, it's just, I love that core work. Mm. Good. Good. Oh, I'm so I, glad. I have, I have a six pack now, Marion. <laughs> <laughs> that is excellent. All right, you guys. I'll see you later. Have a great day. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> so cute. <laughs>